All right, guys, welcome back to another episode, and we finally have cool weather. Finally, a high of 60. Water temperatures are plummeting, and I absolutely love it. We got a bluebird day right here. We're getting out of here, and we're, gonna, we're in the evening fishing before guide trip. Like most of the time, I do all these videos. That's usually what I'm doing is I'm fishing for guide trips, uh, prepping. So we're gonna hit a bunch of piles, see how active they are. I know for a fact from earlier this week, hair jigs have been on fire. So we're definitely going there tonight. I cannot wait. Want to see what we can do, how quick we can do it. I'm gonna be keeping some fish for a fish fry. So stick around, get something to eat. We're gonna have some fun. Big fish going in the boat, guys. I love this time of the year. Boom. Solid fish. Good start in fish. Using the hair jigs, guys. Hammer Tim, baby. We're out here in the uh, early evening, so roughly around five o'clock, guys. And right now we're just seeing how aggressive they are. Kind of. Get us an idea on what to expect tomorrow. And this is a good solid fish here. This is a real good fish. Oh yeah, we get him in the boat real quick. When I think they're about to kick one last time on the surface, man, I, I swing them in. Slab! Right there, guys. Boom! I've been here two minutes. This having some fun tonight maybe do a little filleting get a nice solid bag of fish i love cold fillets guys there we go that's doesn't get much better than that that hammer tin is so freaking sensitive and then i use that comet that's a black nose guys if you guys know about the black nose right there some people will call them magnolias, although they are only magnolias in Mississippi. Either way, that's number three. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? We well, Proud Fishing will be hitting your local show this coming fall and winter. So look for us. Uh, we'll be making a lot of announcements. We're going to be at a lot of different shows to show all the different rods and the equipment, sniping braid, hog fishing, all that great stuff. Um, and if you have an interest, uh, you can certainly comment below and let us know maybe a show that we're not familiar with that you think is big and crappie and we'd love to show up. So let us know. So we're just casting at them right now we're gonna get to a new spot here and see if they're still biting we've got a good amount in the bucket right now so in the live well so we'll see where we can take this thing it'll be awesome you guys see those fish right down there in the dirt yeah that's the target that is definitely the target and we should be coming in right here guys And yeah, we see if somebody wants to, yeah, look at this. Yeah, they want to come up to it. Boom, we got him. We got him. That was a pro release, guys. A pro release. That's what we're going to call that. All right. All right, guys, let me show you around a little bit on what I'm doing, what I'm using, all that good stuff. The helm, the important part of your boat. 
because I've got a lot of people out there that are getting new boats and they're thinking about what to do. And my number one thing I'm going to talk about is efficiency in the boat. Not having to stretch far to touch your live scope monitor, making sure everything's in a nice compact area right here. Everything was within a uh, very easy touch location. I mean, I'm modifying everything up to the inch, half inch, to make sure that it's absolutely the most efficient thing that I can possibly do. If I'm gonna have to touch the screen, if I'm gonna have to pull up the trolling motor, if I'm gonna have to move anything, I want to be efficient throughout the entire day so that's my complete recommendation is being efficient up here at the helm uh, making sure everything is in the perfect location you should not have to bend down stretch too far all throughout the day if you possibly can uh, i'm using the cornfield fishing uh, folding mount there you also have an 8616 um, i'll tell you I'm a super big fan of the old treks. Um, if you've been following three pound fishing, you know that these are some of the keys that I think are critical to me being up here, being efficient. So anyway, that's a little bit about my setup. I'm using the hammer 10. I've got sniping braid. I'm using all hair jigs so far today. I think we've caught maybe one or two fish on a plastic, but mostly all hair jigs um, this evening. And we're running out of daylight. So we got to put fish in the boat. Let's get it done. Nice little drop there. Ooh, missed that one. That was a solid strike, too. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end it. Look how beautiful that is, man. Though. Check that out. We've caught plenty of fish. And uh, we're going to clean them now. We're ready for the guide trips. And uh, we've got quite a few in a row here. So if you are interested in a guide trip, reach out to me, especially for the month of November. October is pretty much booked up. Um, but reach out to me. Check it out at 3 Fishing at gmail.com. Send me an email or give me a call and we'll get you hooked up. But man, what a great evening to be on the water. A little breezy, doesn't seem like it's breezy right here. Doesn't seem like it's breezy right here, but it is breezy out there. So tomorrow though, we have zero, zero wind. And I've got a regular, I get about 70% of people that fish with me are regulars, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm looking forward to it more, I really am. So take it easy guys. Please share the video and subscribe. Have a great one.